My name is Kate Courtney. I'm a professional mountain bike racer, Olympian, and world champion. Today we're out at the San Vicente Redwoods and we are checking out some of the new trails that just opened up to the public. We're here on the San Vicente Redwoods property. It's an 8,800 acre property in the Santa Cruz Mountains. We're opening up the trails, welcoming the public to this place with some of the best mountain bikers in the world. We're gonna learn a little bit about how recreation and conservation can go hand in hand together and how recreationists, mountain bikers, equestrians, hikers can all be a part of the stewardship of our natural resources. It's great to be out here and to have more trails opening up with access for bikes and of course have the opportunity to explore and appreciate the natural environment. The trails here are beautiful and they really traverse this magical landscape through the forest. It's just a place that makes you wanna be on your bike. The organizations that help to save this place are Save the Redwoods League, Peninsula Open Space Trust, the Land Trust of Santa Cruz County, and the Semper Virens Fund. We have been working together for more than 10 years to protect this place, and now we are announcing the opening of the trail system, the first phase of public access on this property. That portion of the project was led by the Land Trust of Santa Cruz County and opening nearly eight miles of trails. There are four loops of trails. The trails are all named after the Waswas language. There's a trail that's just for equestrian use. There are several trails for hiking and biking use with restrooms and parking spaces and trails that wind through the recovering forest landscape. One of the unique elements of this property is that in 2020, the fire burned right through it. That's one of the main experiences that trail users are gonna participate in, actually witness the recovery of an ecosystem. I think it's a really unique environment. It feels a world away, and I think that's really valuable to have this experience with nature and to feel disconnected for a while. We are 15 miles from close to 7 million people. Silicon Valley is just over the hill in that direction. So having this natural resource as a place for recreation, as a fire resilient buffer, as a place where nature can hold sway, as an investment in the fight against climate change. This is an extraordinary resource for the people of the Bay Area. Save the Redwoods League is playing an instrumental role in preserving some of California's most important ecosystems. Redwood forests are one of the most important natural assets that California has, and we're at a really critical time in the preservation of those ecosystems. So we wouldn't be able to be where we are today in a beautiful place like this without them. I see this property as a model for the conservation vision for the broader redwood landscape. The way this property is allocated between reserve land that is just gonna be let to grow restoration land where we're doing active management to accelerate the path to old growth of the future to sustainable forest management with recreation intertwined. I think the more exposure that we can get people to these outdoor recreation opportunities, the better our lives will all be. It's a great place to introduce people to the sport and fall in love with it just like I did. <laughs>